Hi guys and welcome to Total Technic. In today's video we're just doing a beginner's guide to how to set your torque wrench correctly. So let's take a look. So looking at the handle of your torque wrench, uh, up towards the top there you'll have your gauges which we'll look at in a minute, uh, but at the bottom here uh, you've actually got this uh, little screw, uh, little cap that screws in and out of the bottom. And what that does is when you adjust the uh, torque wrench uh, you loosen that off and that will allow the handle to twist and then once you've got it to the setting that you're happy with what you do is you tighten that back up and that will lock it in that position at that torque okay so that's one important thing to uh, bear in mind if you're not used to using these is whenever you come to uh, adjust it uh, make sure you slacken that off uh, to give you the freedom to uh, spin the handle and then once you've found the torque, the torque setting that you want just tighten that back up so that can't move again okay so that's the first thing to bear in mind so let's take a look at the um, gauges Okay, so we can see here on this side we have uh, torques in newton meters. And if I, I flip that over quickly, uh, usually on the back of these you've got the same thing, torques in foot pounds, uh, depending on what the, uh, the common denominator you use in your particular country. Uh, here in the UK we tend to use uh, newton meters, uh, so we'll have a look at this scale. Obviously, the same applies to both. So I'm going to undo the um, the uh, handle at the bottom to allow the, uh, the handle to twist like so. Now we've got a, a series of numbers uh, down the side here, so you see it starts at 203.5 on, on the top there, hopefully you guys can see that okay. Uh, obviously when you're looking at your own torque wrench this will, this will make a little bit more sense I'm sure. But what you want to do is you've got numbers uh, on here but you've also got a scale on the top of the handle here, you can see zero right here, uh, two, then four, etc. So if we roll this back just for the sake of uh, illustration, and roll this uh, all the way down. So we're at the, uh, the bottom uh, setting uh, for this particular torque wrench, which is going to be somewhere around there in the 50s. Okay, so that, that's low enough. Now say for example um, I wanted to do 120 newton meters, which is quite a common um, uh, denominator for doing uh, wheel nuts on, on Audis. So if I look at my scale here, uh, we've got a scale on both sides. Uh, I've got a scale, I haven't got 120. Um, but you can see here as it goes up, I've actually got uh, 122. Uh, hopefully you guys can, uh, can see that just about there. And that's kind of the closest denominator that I've got. If I look on the, uh, the other side, I've got 35.6, which is actually 135.6, of course. So between those two, you know, between those two little gauges, somewhere it's going to be 130. We're looking for 120 in this particular case. So we know that this line here is 122 to there. So if I now uh, tighten, the, uh, tighten it up, what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring this handle up so that the bottom of the handle is in, level, is in line with the 122 mark. Like that. Now that 122 uh, when I get there, there, there's my 122 there. Now the, all these markers will kind of end exactly on zero if that makes any sense. So that's, that's 122. Now I know I want 120, so I'm going to undo it too. So I'm going to roll back by two. So what I've done is I've gone from 122, I've moved the handle back to, so that will be exactly 120. Then I'll tighten up my uh, the bottom of the handle uh, as we discussed before and the torque wrench is ready to use. So that is the basics on how to correctly set your torque wrench.